Hello, and welcome back to this Library of Ruido series. In this video, we'll be taking on the Blue Reverberation in the Church of Gears Worshippers. This fight gives us some new cards and passives to play with, so let's get started. The Blue Reverberation is a 2-act fight and starts with 5 Church of Gears Worshippers, which provides more support for the smoke archetype. For passives, they have Puffy Broom of course, but they also bring a new smoke passive, Internal Combustion Engine, which increases the amount of self-inflicted smoke they gain by 1. Additionally, Meat Gear increases the damage of the first defensive dice of each combat page by 2 or 3, and Thought Gear increases Evade Dice Power by 1 for 1 less passive point than the Universal Defensive Boosters. Finally, they have the Stimulating Fumes passive shared with me. For pages, they have a few good ones, starting with Guidance of the Gears. This is a premium light regeneration page for smoke decks with a 0.5 higher roll average than Giggy Gig in gaining 2 smoke. Fortunately, being a light regen page, it's fairly easy to outroll. Their next card is Assault Order, a 2 cost smoke payoff with mediocre rolls, but if the target has 2 or more smoke, all dice gain 1 power. Redirecting this page to a Librarian without any smoke will be best, but if you can't, this page still loses to most 3 cost bomb pages. Autonomous Rush is their first 2 cost enabler, and has a mix of smoke infliction and self smoke. This page doesn't have great rolls, with most of its power being on 1, so it's easily countered with a block on 1 or just getting out rolled. Defense Order is their other 2 cost enabler, but this one is focused entirely on self smoke. Compared to Absorb Impact from the Kane Office, this page has the same roll average, trading half a power on the second die to gain half a power on the first. Their most threatening page is Vapor, a 3 cost page with one powerful die on one. This page also has Self Smoke, Smoke Infliction, and draws a page. Having a block on one will be your best bet, as this page is fairly hard to outroll even with cards like Transpierce or Deep Drag. Fortunately, none of the enemies in this first act have speed, so you'll probably have double the enemy's speed dice and can make short work of them. The second act has four more Church of Gears worshippers backed up by Argalia himself. He has Shimmering and his unique passive, which makes him take no damage from ranged pages. His 500 HP health pool looks threatening at first, but once he falls to 250 HP, he retreats as he's just out of scout at the library. His first page, aptly named Scout, has a decent evade on 1 and a pierce on 2 that inflicts some bleed, as well as 2 strong block counter dice. His next card is Preludio. This page has much worse rolls than Scout, but each hit gives 1 strength and endurance to all enemies next scene, so you definitely want to clash with this every time it comes up. It also has 2 block counter dice on it. His third card is Trails of Blue. This page has one fairly powerful die, and if it hits, the Librarian's dice power can't be modified next scene. This is probably a negative, as you probably have some power boosting passives on your Librarians, but if you somehow got inflicted with Feeble or Disarm, then these also get nullified. This page also has three block counter dice. His last page is Tempestuous Danza. This is a mass individual attack with four dice that roll 8, 7, 5, and 3 to 4. This page is fairly powerful, as you will most likely get hit by at least two of the attacks, but since it won't deal too much damage, it's not that threatening on its own. I found that it's usually best to kill all of the Church of Gears worshippers while avoiding free hitting Argalia due to his plentiful counter dice. Once all of the Cog worshippers are dead, the counter dice will matter less as you'll have a lot more firepower and will usually be able to make him retreat in one or two scenes. This reception doesn't give you any key pages of note, but most of the combat pages are pretty good. Guidance of the Gears is a very strong late regeneration for smoke decks. Assault Order is a fine payoff in decks that like to inflict a lot of smoke, while Defense Order is a good enabler for decks that are more interested in self-smoke. Vapor is similar to Deep Drag, but is for decks that are more interested in self-smoke. Generally, smoke decks are best in multiples as the main payoff, Loss of Senses, requires a large amount of smoke infliction to work but a deck that's focused on self-smoke can work on its own fairly well. In the next video, we'll be starting the middle right branch and taking on the Leo Association. I'll see you soon, and as always, thank you for watching.